Uh, well, we are watching this weather system out west, and I was just telling Angela, I was talking with someone I know who's in Nebraska. They've got 90 mile an hour winds. Mm -hmm. Woke up this morning, it was 70 degrees, and the temperatures are dropping. So when we see these systems, the warm and cold come together, and these high winds, yeah. scary things can happen. It, it is, and we're kind of unheard of to have so many states under high wind warnings, mm -hmm. and those winds not necessarily associated with thunderstorms that are reaching 80, mm -hmm. 90 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, they are dealing with some thunderstorms. For us, the main local impact will be some rain and will be some wind. Boy, it's warm, 63 degrees. We have a south wind at 16 miles per hour. We're starting to see some higher gusts between 25 and 30. A gust currently of 30 in Muncie, a gust of 25 in Indianapolis and Terre Haute. And we're just on the edge of these high winds. You can see them really starting to build out to our west across parts of Iowa, Missouri, and as Anne Marie pointed out, Nebraska and Kansas. These are all high wind warnings that are highlighted in orange. Locally, it's the northern half of the state under a wind advisory until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So what you need to know as we head through the rest of today and tomorrow, guys, yes, we've got another day in the 60s tomorrow, but those wind gusts late tonight through early Thursday may near 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially across the northern part of the state. So very similar to last weekend, we can't rule out some trees down and some power outages. Future track 13, 11 o'clock tonight, we're still dry. That weather system approaching, but the rain falling apart. We may have a couple of showers around early tomorrow and then some steadier rain falling through the early afternoon hours. That's noon and the best chance for that steady rain will be across the southern half of the state. Grab the umbrella for the early half of tomorrow. Again, temperatures in the 60s early on, then those numbers will start to fall and you can see the falling temperatures on Friday will be in the 30s most of the day. Eventual highs in the 40s with rain returning. So let's return to future track 13. You are going to have some dry time the early half of Friday before the system lifts back north. That's three o'clock Friday afternoon. This will take us through Friday evening and Friday night early Saturday. We'll be dealing with a few showers before all of this finally moves out, but so does the warmth. We're going to be back into the 30s and 40s as we head into the weekend. So grab the umbrella tomorrow. The rain will end after 2 o'clock. 64 happens the middle part of the day and then temperatures will start to fall all the way to 31 Friday morning. We're dry Friday morning. Rain returning Friday afternoon. Friday night into early Saturday. Rain moves out Saturday afternoon. 42. Chilly. Some sunshine. Maybe a couple of flurries around Sunday 36 and looking ahead to the week before Christmas. Pretty quiet Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday.